What's up guys, Hong Nguyen, OG Fitness. Welcome to the channel. If it's your first time, don't forget to subscribe. In this video, I'm gonna answer uh, a one of the guys in the community asked, is uh, judo good for takedown defense? So when you guys ask me a question, guys, um, the best way to, to, if you want your questions answered faster is to send me an email, okay? So link down below so you can check that out. Is judo good for takedown defense? Yes, it is good for takedown, but you're gonna have problems with wrestlers because wrestlers go after your legs. Let's say you're a BJJ guy and you do judo and then you start doing judo because you know you wanna get better at takedowns. Well, yeah, definitely like it's going to help you with your takedown defense because you understand gripping. The thing with you, uh, like BJJ guys is that they don't understand gripping for the most part. Like I'm sure some of them do if of course they cross train uh, in judo a lot or if they come from a judo background, but generally BJJ guys don't know how to grip. If you understand gripping, you cancel out a lot of things that they can do. Like the whole like uh, jump guard, right? That's, that's gonna be very hard for them to do because the thing is you understand gripping. So in judo, once I catch your sleeve, boom, 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 and, and it's going to be something that I'll be able to do very quickly, that's it, you're done. Like you can't, you won't be able to do any kind of funny business because I know how to control you with my grips. And, and, and in judo, grip, gripping is like 70, 80% of the game. You know, you have to get your grips first and then you throw. Right, because without the grips, like whatever, like it's, it's very hard to pull off a throw without having a dominant grip. Even if the person does try to take you down, they get close enough, doesn't matter because, well, you know, you have a whole bunch of uh, techniques, ouchi, yeah, balance, you know how to keep them away, you know how to like, you know, reposition yourself because you have the gi. In the context of judo uh, takedown defense versus BJJ, oh, like let's say uh, judo for, wrestling eh, like you'll still do pretty well because judokas actually transition very well to wrestling they have very good sense of balance because of all the uchikomis the kuzushi kuzushi is the debalancing right and uh the uchikomis the footwork and stuff like that so it's it's more refined if you're a judo guy and you're used to the gi right now you take the gi off and you go against a wrestler and you're not used to defending double legs and single legs and all that, okay? Because in the old style judo, we were, used to be able to grab the legs. Like I wasn't part of, uh, I wasn't doing judo at that time. That was a long time ago, but that's what I heard. So it was uh, then, yeah, it wasn't, uh, you did very well against wrestlers also because you know, you were used to defending your legs. But now with the new judo, like if you're fighting a wrestler and you're not used to it and you don't have your gi and the guy in front of you doesn't have a gi top, nothing for you to grab on, like you're gonna, you're gonna do okay, but you're gonna get taken down. There's this judoka named uh, Jason Morris, and he did that transition. And man, he was, he was destroying guys, man. You know, I didn't look him up for this video. It just popped into my head. But we'll talk about that in another video. It's, it's really interesting. If you learn judo, okay, your takedown defense against a BJJ guy, perfect. Like you're gonna, he's gonna pull guard. He's gonna pull guard. Against a wrestler, you'll do okay, but eh, you know, you're gonna get taken down because you're not used to defending the legs. But once you get used to it, if you've been doing judo long enough, you have very good dexterity, a uh, sense of, uh, and also a sense of uh, balance. You can surprise dudes because, you know, like you're gonna throw stuff that they, they might not be used to defending. So that's it for this video, guys. Um, and I uh, hope you enjoyed that. See you guys next time. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and click on the notification bell. Also, there's a link down below. If you guys click on it, it's gonna bring you to a page where you can follow me on all my social media platforms, and you can also apply for, uh, for coaching so that you guys can work directly with me. Also, one last thing, guys. If you have any questions, right, send me an email. That's the best way to reach me. I read them, and I'll, I'll answer your, your questions, man. All right, peace.